Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Shoplifting from American Apparel by Tao Lin. This has a very short blurb here. The inmate with a mop held back the inmate without a mop. And that's a pretty good summation of Tao Lin's writing style. I'm going to read you some excerpts anyway, so you'll get a feel for whether it's for you or not. And I think that's the main criticism people have with Tao Lin, is that they just don't like his way of writing. For me, I really like it, and I think he does a great job of like capturing the mundanity of everyday life in quite simple language quite often as well, which is kind of what I like in writers. Um, but he's certainly not for everybody. I'm going to go through and give a quick review of this. In a work that's sure to be controversial, shoplifting from American Apparel describes a youth culture attacking the mainstream with scathing wit and ferocious optimism. Set mostly in Manhattan, Although also featuring Atlantic City, Brooklyn, the cyberspace of Gmail chat, and Gainesville, Florida, this autobiographical novella, spanning two years in the life of a young writer with a cultish following, has been described by the author as a shoplifting book about vague relationships, two parts shoplifting arrest, five parts vague relationship issues, and an ultimately life-affirming book about how the unidirectional nature of time renders everything beautiful and sad. From VIP rooms in hip New York City clubs to central booking Chinatown, from the library at New York University to a bus parked in someone's backyard in a Florida college town, from Brett Easton Ellis to Laurie Moore, and from Moby to Ghost Mice, Towlin explores class, culture, and the arts in all its American forms through the funny, journalistic, and existentially minded narrative of someone trying to both not be a bad person and find some kind of happiness or something. So, this is kind of a bit like Towlin's On the Road, and that it's both fiction and non fiction, I guess. And, um,. It doesn't really have a plot. It kind of does, it kind of doesn't. One thing I should point out, actually, is someone read this before me and highlighted stuff and le left occasional notes. This one is a good little quote they highlighted, though. You know those people that get up every day and do things, said Lewis. I'm going to eat cereal even though I'm not hungry, said Sam. And are real proactive, said Lewis. And like, are getting things done and never quit their jobs. Those people suck. We get shit done too, said Sam. Look at our books. I know, but that brings in no money, said Lewis. And we, like that word bohemians or something, our bios, they lived in poverty writing their masterpieces. I like th This little quote here was excellent as well. So, when Marissa and I fight, we lay on our sides for an hour in different rooms and wait for the person that was mean to come into the room and say they are sorry. Then we existentially attack each other in very quiet voices, said Lewis. I think part of it is just that Tao Lin's outlook on the world is sort of similar to my own, I suppose. We have this little conversation here. I don't know what to do, said Lewis. Do you wake up most days and your first thoughts are of literature? You go to sleep thinking about literature? Yes, said Sam. That is all I think about. If I'm having a shitty time with Sheila's mum, I think about writing it in my novel later. I think about that the same time it's happening. I mean, that's just keeping yourself sane. All right, and then Sam gets uh, busted shoplifting from Amer American Apparel as per the title of the novel. They went inside. They went downstairs. Sam was photographed and put in handcuffs. Don't steal from us, said a manager looking at a computer screen. Steal from some shitty corporation. We have fair trade labour. I mean fair labour. I spend my money on even better places, said Sam. Organic vegan restaurants. There are a lot of mentions of veganism in this actually, but I approve as a vegan. We have this great little one-liner which is unfortunately true, I think. That's what rich white boys do. They say they're going to sue you. There's another great quote here that this is one that the person before me highlighted again. I'm pretty sure you have Asperger's. People with Asperger's and schizoid personality disorder usually make good friends. The cat's just gone behind the curtain. Just ignore me. I like this little conversation here between Sam and Lewis as well. I want to change my novel to present tense, said Sam. Is there some Microsoft Word thing to do that? I don't think so. I think you have to do it manually. Manually, said Sam. By hand, said Lewis. Get an interview on Suicide Girls. That should be your next step. Do you think in five years the national media will create a stupid term like blognix to describe us? This was written and published in like 2008, so we can safely say that they did not. This little exchange is something I think everyone can relate to. I feel tired of life, he said out loud. I don't feel like working anymore. What was that? said Ben. What? said Sam. What did you say? You're tired? said Ben. I'm tired of life. I don't want to do any more work, but I still want to be paid. And uh, Sam is describing this girl, and I, I think this is very nicely put. This is what love is. I'm pretty sure I feel happy around her. I think I always feel good after I see her. Then they go and uh, see a band and, uh, called Star Fucking Hipsters. This is our attempt at a non-political song. It's about how Jesus is a zombie, said the singer of Star Fucking Hipsters. 
I mean, he is a zombie. He came from the dead. This song is saying it, that Jesus is actually a zombie. It's called Zombie Christ. So yeah, I can totally see why this wouldn't be for everyone. But I mean, as well, especially because it's like just a novella as well. It's quite digestible for me. I read this pretty much in one sitting. And uh, like I say, I enjoy Towlin's writing. So I enjoyed reading this. I gave it a four out of five. Uh, yeah. So there we have it. That's what I thought of Shoplifting from American Apparel. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book. And if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.